A new study at Cincinnati Children's shows promising results for protecting athletes from brain injuries, and the inspiration came from an unexpected source. Dr. David Smith looked at the, the ideas of a woodpecker and says, well, how does a woodpecker protect its brain? Woodpeckers have a long tongue that wraps around the head and lassos their jugular vein, which increases blood volume, creating a natural bubble wrap to keep the brain from what's called sloshing. Brain slosh is the, the concept of the brain moving inside the skull. So as we see the, the, the head and move and an impact hits the head, we know that the brain can also move. The brain is floating in fluids. And, and what the theory is, if you have less fluid in the intracranial space, there's more room for that brain to move and there's more resultant damage. Researchers took the woodpecker theory and applied it to humans by working with a company called Q30 Innovations that developed a collar for athletes to wear around the neck. You slide it around your neck and what it's going to do is provide a gentle pressure on the jugular vein and what that is doing is slowing the blood flow out of my brain and my carotid continues to push it up at the same rate with every heartbeat and that little kink in the hose will immediately create a backfill and it creates an artificial airbag for my brain inside my skull. After seeing success with the collar in a small study involving high school hockey players, researchers moved on to a larger study involving football players at St. Xavier and Moeller High Schools in Cincinnati. If we can make this game better and we can make this game safer, why wouldn't we be a part of that? 21 football players on St. Xavier's high school wore the collar during a competitive season. They were tested before play to make sure the lightweight collar fit properly. It's kind of like a necktie once it's on. You kind of feel it, but after 10 minutes, it's just another, like nothing's there. Football players from Moeller did not wear the collar. All of the athletes' helmets were outfitted with an accelerometer, a computer chip, which tracked every hit sustained during the pre- and post-season. Researchers used advanced MRI techniques to determine the effectiveness of the collar in preventing structural changes to the brain following a season of head impacts. What we're looking at is white matter structure alterations in response to head impacts. And what white matter is, is the, the structural component of the brain or the axon superhighways of, of what we look at for how the brain functions. We saw that in this study, the collar group, the athletes that actually wore the collar, they had reduced or no change in their, their white matter changes, where the, the group, the, the athletes that didn't wear the collar, they, they saw changes in their white matter structure. This data indicates that this is an area where we need to move forward and do more studies.